Hi guys, I'm Sly Guy. We are back for the battle. We're gonna be facing Infernal Man. And he's actually gonna send me the code this time. Um, I'm not gonna be doing the code. I've been doing the code for the whole season. This this might be my downfall. The, the code might be the reason why I've been winning. Also, the, the weekly roundup didn't drop yet. At least to my knowledge, it might have dropped during this battle or something, but didn't get to see the weekly roundup before I went into this battle. I watched the weekly roundup, I think, the last two weeks for the EBL. Didn't drop this week. I didn't get to hear Lonely Hermit praise my Zygarde. That didn't even show up in the in my battle, but of course he would praise Zygarde, because why wouldn't he praise Zygarde? Because Zygarde's just the best. I won that battle because of a Raging Lake's fear of Zygarde. So Zygarde deserved all deserves just praise galore. I just realized I can't hear my heckin' game. Because I don't have the game to capture up. Yo, Landon! Guy looking nice! I don't even remember who that is. that the Poke Center guy? That might be the Poke Center guy. Alright, now I can hear. Now I can actually hear the game volume. Landon is just citing battle rules. Okay. My team. Somebody under communication. Oh. I even even though I'm pretty confident it's a 6v4. You, I, you still get the little battle jitters before before you battle, before you do a battle. The, the little jitters. The, the little jitters are coming up. I think it's just because I don't want to look like an idiot online. Because if you guys watch my streams, you know I'm just the most intelligent streamer known to man. Let's play my song first, actually. Calyrex 2. Nah, Calyrex sucks. Let's play Spectrier. Alright. Here is the team. Am I gonna be right with my team breakdown first? For the first time ever? Probably not, because he only can bring four heckin' Pokémon, so... There's five Pokémon out of the question. I was... Totally wrong. Wow! I was... I mean, I'm like, no, it's only 50% wrong. Well, technically. He brought the Incineroar and the Vanillux. I mean, I expected the Vanillux. Where the heck is the Vanillux? That's the Incineroar. We're moving Incineroar over. Where the heck is the Vanillux? There it is. Alright, I, I saw Vanillux because obviously I have Zygarde. The yeah, Incineroar is kind of a weird take. Uh, I don't know. I just don't think Incineroar does very good against my team. We'll just... We'll, we're still gonna lead Kyogre. Now, he could actually lead a Vanillux, and I won't have... My... Rain which would be annoying. And he could set up Aurora Veil, vale, actually, so he could actually do that. Okay, he sends out Infernalman. He sends out himself. Alright, so this is already a fantastic matchup for me. We obviously get that Intimidate. We don't care because we're Kyogre. I definitely see him switching, so we are definitely clicking that substitute. There's no way he's staying in here. Yep, he just withdraws, going into the Nilux. Going in into the Zacian already. Oh gosh. Zacian gets Wild Charge. I know Zacian gets Wild Charge, but I get a sub up, so he has to break the sub. And Scald does have a chance to Oko 
Zacian. The chances are slim, but it's possible. But if he goes for Wild Charge, it might kill through the Wild Charge. That obviously breaks our sub. And he takes a little bit of damage. Oh, gosh! <laughs> oh, gosh! What the? Is that a super bulky Zacian? Wow. Hmm. Very, very interesting damage. Very interesting damage. I mean, do I let him click Wild Charge again? That, that, that has to be a really bulky Zacian. I'm gonna Scald. Wild Charge might just not kill. I mean, it might actually force one. No, it does. That's fine. Alright. Zacian really low. Zacian really low. Alright. We're gonna go into uh, Severe right here, I think. I mean, we could just go into Atomic Heart. Atomic Heart Foe lets Infernal Min get in. And I don't want Infernal Min in. Nah, that's fine. We just go into Atomic Heart. We Bullet Punch. This is the first time Atomic Heart is actually in battle. We gotta click Bullet Punch here, too. We're not gonna predict a switch. He withdraws, so he saves it. Smart. Alright, Infernal Min gets out. Smart switch on his part. How much does that do? Doesn't do much. Um, my Mamoswine has Thick Fat, right? Yeah, it has Thick Fat. So, it's probably safer to go into... Queen Latifah is a lot less useful because he doesn't have Salamance. So we're going to go into quick Queen Latifah. He could Pardon Shot here, but that's fine. We'll go into Queen Latifah. I was thinking about running Origin Pulse. Origin Pulse would have done a lot more damage. Just goes into Flare Blitz, where Thick Fat, and, and, and the rate's still up, actually. So yeah, we just eat that. We just eat that right up. And he doesn't really have a good out. He doesn't really have a good check to, uh... An Earthquake, like, at all. He doesn't have a good out to this Earthquake whatsoever. He's just gonna take an Earthquake. This might just kill. It does, it just kills. Inf All right. The Infernal Min is out. Infernal Min is dead. Oh yeah, my Kyogre's dead. I'm really bad at just knocking out these Pokemon. I think I'm the only one that does it like while battle it though. I think it's a good good help to do it though in post like this because pe I, I see a lot of people like waste time looking in the menu, checking what Pokemon they have left, when I can just look at my heckin' layout. All right, he goes into the, the Vanillux. I actually don't have, yeah, I don't have Kyogre anymore. Kyogre didn't even get a kill, Kyogre just died. Um, I know Vanillux gets Flash Cannon. I really don't need I really don't need a Mamoswine for anything else. Rengoku can take care of the Abungus. Rengoku has a pretty good matchup with the rest of his team. I think Rengoku can just win. We're gonna we're just gonna Earthquake do damage to Derry Kane. That does a good amount of damage, wow. He sets up Aurora Veil. Aurora Veil is really heckin' annoying. The Aurora Veil is actually gonna be really annoying. Um... We're actually gonna click Stealth Rock and stall a turn of Aurora Veil. His Zacian is really low, so I, I'm pretty sure a Bullet Punch still kills the Zacian. Like, Aurora Veil is scary, but it's only his Zacian left. And the Zacian's gonna take just damage from Stealth Rocks. He doesn't have a Defogger. 
He goes Blizzard. I got thick fat, so we eat this. So that's that's one turn of Aurora Veil just down. Just with that. So we're gonna Earthquake. We're just gonna Earthquake here. So that's one turn of Aurora Veil down. Zacian is a bulky Zacian, but it's so low that blade that scissor is just gonna kill. I wonder if this kills for Aurora Veil. I kinda hope it doesn't. It doesn't, sweet. That just that just outs another turn of Aurora Veil. Queen Latifah goes down. Alright, we're gonna go. I like going into Ren Goku just here. We're gonna go into Ren Goku here, and I want a Dynamax Max Knuckle. Cause the only thing left he can Dynamax is his Heckin' Amoongus, he can't Dynamax Zacian. So let's do it, let's Max Knuckle, let's get a plus one attack. He, if he switches, he could switch into a Mungus and take, like, the hit. I'm not sure how well he's gonna take a... I'm not sure how well he will take a fighter move he doesn't do that. Because even if he did switch, the Vanillux will die from Stealth Rocks when he switches back into it. I think his team just... This team just specifically destroys Zygarde. Alright, Dairy King dies. And that's like the third turn of Aurora Veil. Is Aurora Veil four turns or five turns? We gotta check that. This is looking pretty GG's, though. He goes into Zacian. Does Zacian live? Still alive. Still alive via Stealth Rocks, but I'm faster. I feel like Amoongus was a play. I feel like he should've went Amoongus, because I get to do Max Flare. I don't think he's faster with a speed boost. This looks like a bulky Zacian. Yeah, I'm faster. Max Flare kills. And now I just got the Max Flare up for the boost. The Zacian goes down. Yeah, and the Aur Aurora Veil is gone. If he went into Amoongus, I would have Max Guarded to stop the Aurora Veil because I didn't want to sleep. I didn't want to get put to sleep. Is he going to Dynamax this? Or is he just giving up here? Nah, he doesn't Dynamax it. This probably kills. Yep, and it kills. Alright, Blaziken just sweeps at the end there. And we are 5-0. We are 5-0. That Aurora Veil was good. But I, f I feel like Infernoman did need to go offensive there to, like, stand a real chance, but instead he went, like, very defensive. Zacian was his only offensive mon. So if I, if I, just, if I set up with, like, my Blaziken, he's just in trouble. So, but GG's to Infernoman. I'm not ragging. That's not against Infernoman whatsoever. Obviously, the handi that handicap is just a huge handicap. I, I, I give him big props for getting a win just at all in general. So, big ups to Infernalman. Check out Infernalman. He's still the shiny cane. He's still got Zag going for him. We are 5-0 with a plus 21 
differential, I believe. So we are easily going into playoffs. So we, we'll see you there. I'm excited. I'm excited to get to playoffs. I did what I wanted to do. And who knows? Maybe we win this. Maybe we win this. I'm definitely going to be doing a little more prep in the playoffs here. So that's it. Check out Infernalman. Check out the rest of the EBL coaches. I'm Sly Guy. This is Bye Bye.